Have you ever seen a lava lamp and wondered what the inside smells and feels like? I sure has, so now it's time to find out. In the name of curiosity, I'm gonna pop open this otherwise beautiful lava lamp that I bought on Amazon for 17 bucks. Now it's cooled off again, so I'll get started dissembling while trying to avoid making a mess. The cap says, warning, do not open, do not drink. It kind of smells like windshield washer fluid. It tastes like it too, with a hint of dishwasher soap and something acidic. A bit alcoholic aftertaste too. In the video description on YouTube, you can find a detailed explanation about how lava lamps works and what the fluid and wax inside the bottle are made of. And of course, how the lamp works, making the blobs float up and down. All right, now let's crack the bottle open. Although resistance is futile, it does put up quite a lot. There we go. The wax chunk is full of glass. I'll go give it a quick rinse. It's rinsed. Here you can see the spring, whose purpose you can also read about in the description. It's quite oily to the touch, as wax is supposed to be. Feels like eating a candle. It has the same texture. Tastes like candle, too, with a hint of gasoline. Probably due to the paraffin it contains. Kind of burns a bit on the tongue, too. So there we have it. Fluid that tastes and smells like windshield washer fluid, wax that tastes like candle with gasoline, and a spring. That is the contents of a lava lamp. The lamp base is quite basic with a heat-emitting light bulb that heats up the wax and the liquid, initiating the motion in the lamp. Not much to scavenge here. The only thing is the light bulb that I can use on my other lava lamps, and maybe the lamp tip can be used as decoration or a cap on something. We have seen how the wax acts in the lava lamp when heated. Now let's see how it reacts in regular water. I have one glass with hot water and one with cold. This glass contains the hot water.
Now for the cold water. That actually looks pretty cool. Now let's try all the wax, then add some color to the water too. I'm going to save this wax too and use it for some other project. As we gaze upon my other lava lamps, I thank you for watching this little experiment of curiosity.